Alice has ordered a pizza and Bob is the uh, shop owner. So Alice calls and she's like, Bob, I never got my pizza. Bob's like, yeah, you did get the pizza. My delivery person is saying that he, he dropped it off at your house. And Alice is like, well, I don't see it. There's no pizza here and so on. Bob says, well, yeah, you did. I'm looking at my records. It's marked as delivered. And Alice is like, I still don't have my pizza. And so we get to this inevitable point where there's prove it. Is Alice trying to steal pizza? She like making this up? Is, is Bob sitting in a car somewhere eating the pizza he never delivered? In a blockchain world, in this like blockchain landscape that we're trying to think about, uh, there would be a record of every pizza ever, ever made, ever delivered. There might even be a, a record of where the delivery car traveled on that time. How does blockchain change the world today beyond pizza? And so if you remember in the, the problems and challenges that we're facing in our present operating system, were centralized and opaque and siloed, reactive and, and therefore regulated. So as we make this broader shift and we go from centralized to decentralized thinking, this enables things to be more transparent and therefore more connected and proactive because we're constantly responding um, to real-time access information and therefore these systems that we build are self-enforcing. In the blockchain-enabled future, my identity will be self-sovereign. I will own that identity. It'll be monetizable. I'll be able to choose which advertisers I want to share that with. So as a, a consumer in the future, I'll openly share my data with, with brands directly and perhaps even directly with the suppliers. And why is this important? So if we talk about, again, the identity concept, I'll not only have my self-sovereign identity that says, hi, you know, I'm Sam, but it's leading to more increased personalization. And so I'll say, okay, here are my measurements, here are my preferences, here are the brands that I like. And therefore I'll be able to have more um, specified and, and personalized experiences at the point of retail. And beyond that, I'll even trust the, the labels and claims that my brands make. Because at this point, I know that it's mostly greenwashing and all those certifications and all of those seals um, don't stand for much. And beyond supply chain, let's like look at where things get made in the first place. So great, we're going to make these systems more responsive, more dynamic, more efficient, but let's look at how we're going to make things. And so in the blockchain enabled future, I'm going to be able to get whatever I want, when I want it, on demand and localized. The next step, ownership in the blockchain enabled future. I won't own that car, I won't own that scooter, and I won't own my home. What I might own is shares or a fleet of cars that go out and, and do the work and pay for the work that they do and pay me a little dividend. Not only that, in this blockchain enabled future, this car will be its own entity. It'll, it'll have a wallet like I have a wallet and it will pay for things on its own. Like when I'm sitting at a stop sign, it'll actually be charging um, through a, a charging pad that's sitting underneath a stop sign. So it'll have a, a micro charging station and a micro transaction. And I won't even own this car. Blockchain, it's still very young. Will it help businesses operate more efficiently and do things faster? Will it facilitate the creation of multiple economies? Yes, of course. You envision things that are happening right now that might seem like the future. But I'm here also to share that this is a unique moment in human history. And this isn't just a technological revolution. This is a revolution in thought. This isn't just another acceleration of using tools. This is creation of new thoughts and the decision of what tools do we create. So it's very big and we've only just begun. And this is a big shift in thinking. Everyone here in this room today is part of this seismic shift. And I hope that you take part in building the operating system of the future with me.